with the grudge it was Sam's idea and that we should shoot this film in Japan and the, the, the key factor was to get back Takashi Shimizu to direct it was his film it was his world and his vision he likes to set scenes up where they're a little off kilter I think he understands um, what scares people it's, it's always like a fresh take on the horror it's always well thought out Usually you get the roller coaster ride. You get a really big scare, and then you get kind of some fun scenes. They get a big scare, and, and Shimizu didn't play that game. He so lulls you into sort of a sense of everydayness, but at the same time, he'll come at you sideways with terrifying scares that sort of grow out of the everyday world. He really loves atmosphere. Kind of like this in your seat the whole time. There's also a very playful side of Shimizu that keeps things light and keeps everything very enjoyable on set. One of the calmest, most patient guys I know. Yeah, a lot of people might think he's really strange. A lot of people might think he's crazy because the movies he's filmed, but actually he's quite lighthearted and he's quite funny. He'll crack the occasional joke. Hilarious, uh, sarcastic. He is really funny. Some of the stills that David's been taking. That's great. <laughs> Um, we definitely want this kind of moment here at the end yeah, of the yeah. dialogue. Shimizu son has a very specific way that he likes to shoot. He's not thinking about what's on the paper, he's thinking about what's on the screen via storyboards, which he does himself. Shimizu has such a clear vision of what he wants for the film. He always knew what he wanted. So it was very easy for me. He knows exactly what story he's telling. Because, you know, you're trying to make her feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Taking whip in there in between takes and say, this is what I want for the scene, and this is what I want out of your performance. Here, you can actually, like, pick it up and look at it and place it down. Each step of the way, Shimizu is communicating his vision with not just actors, and that's a big part of it, but with the writer, with the production designer, with the DP. He really takes the time to make sure that we don't take the easiest route possible, that he'll always try to find a fresh and horrific way to approach material. I like that he, you don't leave his films and kind of go, okay, it was over. I mean, essentially, he's making the things that people are going to have nightmares about. Right. <clears throat> so I'd love to see what his dreams are like. Did a cat just walk yeah, in? Yeah, there is. It's a, there's a lot of feral cats walking around the studio. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah, one, just, one yeah. just went right by. Wow. <laughs>